Thanks, Val Hannes, around town. She's showing you how to catch fresher fish in the city. Okay. So fresh. Oh, yes, my friends. I'm at Axon's Isaacson and Stein, right on Fulton Market Street, and check it out. This tuna is being prepared and filleted because it, it uh, came in from Hawaii. Come on. Come on, people. Uh. You know what, Mary? These guys can't handle it. Let me show them the clean, nice version they would love to see. Look how beautiful it is. Uh, and the best chefs in the on. city... Uh -huh. Love. The best chefs in the city, I'm gonna roll here. The best chefs in the city buy here and so can you. So when we come back around town, we will show you how to pick the best and also we will play Name Your Fish. Ah, uh, now you're talking. <laughs> Thank you. Fish market on up. Yes, I am and I have my hands on something. It's time to play Name That Fish. Larry Robin, <laughs> we'll right. begin with this, draping my arm. Uh, uh, uh. It's an octopus. A jellyfish. Who was that? that was me, Paul. Paul, you know your fish, baby. Let's uh -huh. begin here because Ugh. we're here with John Poulos from Isaacson and Stein. Good morning, John. Good morning. How are you? So he's going to help us with our game show. Guys, let's start with this. What is this beautiful fish right here? Uh, that looks like a uh, gold bass. Fish. <laughs> goldfish. <laughs> no, no, my ignorant friends. Seafaring friends. Tuna. Oh, there you go, Larry. Dean got tuna. it. Ah, tuna. Tuna. Ah, from Hawaii. tuna. So what is this good for? Uh, you can make tuna steaks. They make sashimi with it. Um, most people come in there and just, uh, they sear it a couple minutes on each side and eat it, you know? Love it, love it. All right, guys, second fish. Are you ready? Yep. yep. Okay, wait a second. I took my glove off and I said, no, no. What is this? Oh, that's just going to be a snapper. Carp. Red snapper, uh, good yeah. job. Everyone loves a red snapper. And here you have it filleted. This is what you do here at Isaacson, right? Absolutely. Any any fish that they buy whole will fillet it. And this is where restaurants buy their fish too? Yes, restaurants, right. hotels, supermarkets. We we sell everybody. What's this beauty, guys? Can you tell me what this is? Look at those eyes, look at oh. that mouth. It's a horror crappy. <laughs> <laughs> John, enlighten us. What is that? That is uh, uh, a grouper from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, oh, it yeah. speaks Spanish. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. So when we come back, we'll tell you more about fish, how you should pick it, and when is the best time to buy it. We'll be right back with more around town during the 8 o'clock I want to play again. Well, I that was play great. Again. Good, Anna. We'll, play again. we'll pick up some more fish, maybe now some uh, seafood. All right. <laughs> Anna, find out why. Every time I cook fish, I get dried out. Can you find the answer to that for because me for next hour? Please. Honestly, like, can, any other assignments? Can I maybe get you something to drink I need or to anything? Know. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, check it out. Tom. Anna is learning how to buy fresh fish even in the middle of winter. Hey, Anna. Yes, indeed. And this is the place to do it. This is Isaacson and Stein. Check it out. Buffalo fish, catfish, carp, lake trout, all flown from all over the world daily here. And even fish that you wouldn't even think of because they're more from other regions of the country. So you wouldn't think of, let's say, that's a bluefish, right, John? Bluefish, correct. And I heard it's simple but delicious. How should you prepare this? Um, what I would do, I would bake it in the oven about 425. Uh, I would put a little olive oil, some uh, chopped garlic. And you'll fillet it here for us, right? Yes. Any fish you buy, we will you go up here and you pay for it, and then uh, take it over and they fillet it for you. I love it. Larry, I know you have a question, and so do people on my Facebook page. We're going to answer them all coming up in about 20 minutes, so keep Great. sending them. All right. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Anna. Coming up to New you know, Another game show we're playing Know Your Fish. I Let's hurry this. back to the anchor desk. <laughs> okay, guys, so can you see this? What is this? Uh, shrimp. Yes, it is. It's a giant head on shrimp from Nigeria, <laughs> caught fresh, brought over here. How do we prepare it, John? Well, you would take this, you would uh, oh. peel the back off here and devein it, and then uh, put it in a little olive oil. Keep the head and the tail, I heard. Keep the head and tail on. It's, no. it's a nice presentation if you have company. And it's as delicious as a lobster? It's sweet. Oh. It is sweet. Oh. When we come back, we'll answer more of your questions that we've gotten on Facebook, including yours, Potash. Back All to you. All right. Thanks, Anna. I'm starting to realize I like my food all processed and cut up, and I don't even want to know yeah. anything about it. <laughs> Coming up the new wave.
learning how to buy fresh fish, and we were playing Guess This Fish, and she's going to answer some questions. Hey, Anna. Yes, I'm going to answer questions that came to my Facebook page. Miriam Hernandez asks, what kind of fish can you use to make fish soup? I'm here with John and Sherwin from Isaacson's and Stein. This is the owner. He's been here 47 years. What's good soup fish? I would recommend the grouper. Uh-huh. Um, the head, you mix a terrific soup. You really? Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's go to our second question. Mark asks, um, uh, okay, how do I buy fresh fish after it's been filleted? How do I know it's fresh? Hannah, when you're looking at fish, mm -hmm. on a, when you're looking at a fillet, mm -hmm. take a look at the luster. Uh -huh. If Shut. it doesn't have a luster, like here on the salmon, here on the chili and sea bass, here on the tuna, don't buy it. Okay. If it started to fade out or it looks on the dry side, it's not recommended to buy. All right, Sherwin, Gittel Hesselberg asks, if fish is fresh, does it smell fishy? There's a few types of fish that have a distinct smell. Most fish do not have a, a real scent. And if they smell fishy, do not buy them. There you go, move away. He says that white fish is supposed to smell like what? Like cucumbers. I love oh, that. Oh, I love tip. that. Right, Larry, your question was what? I keep drying out uh, salmon filet. Should I broil it, or how long do I need to keep it in there at what temperature? Larry what keeps drying doing? out salmon filets. Does he keep it less time? What does he do? Well, what I do uh, is I put a, about a qu quarter to an eighth an inch of water on the bottom of the pan, mm. all the way around the fish. This way, as, as it's baking in the oven, it's steaming nice. simultaneously, oh. and it'll keep it nice and moist. Sherwin oh. does something different. What do you do, Sherwin? What I do is I take a foil tray mm -hmm. that has ridges, mm -hmm. and oh. I'll bake it maybe at 425 for 10, 15 minutes or so. It will not dry out. Is all there right. a best time to buy fish? Best day to come here to Isaacson and buy fish? We get fish all the time, Monday through Friday. And if you're a regular person like me who loves fish, you can come by here. The restaurant tours by here, too. If you need more info, text us. Thank you, fish guys. You're welcome. They're a blast. Back to you. Oh, thank you, Anna. When I got I, a filet of fish between my knees and I'm driving, Larry, is that all right for me? <laughs> <laughs> keep it there. Keep it moist. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, aren't you Johnny in the kitchen, Larry?